Hello everyone, if you have ever struggled with literature reviews or finding the right research papers, this tool will transform the way you work and streamline your entire process. Today I'm walking you through one of the most comprehensive research tools out there. It's called AnswerThis.io and it's built to support every stage of the research process. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how it works. We'll explore how it can give you both extensive literature reviews and specific answers to your research questions. And I'll show you how to find research gaps and build entire citation maps all in just a few minutes. So let's get started. So once you've signed in, this is what the dashboard looks like. It's clean, simple, and very intuitive to use. So here you'll be able to select one of two options, either auto or literature review. Auto mode is perfect when you have a specific research question in mind. You just type it in and it gives you a direct answer. Whereas literature review builds a structured and detailed response of the topic with headings, summaries, and extensive citations. And this is ideal if you're writing a thesis or a review paper. You'll also see that there's a light and pro mode. Light is faster, ideal when you need a quick answer. And pro takes a bit longer, but gives you a more detailed and comprehensive result. You also see that you can upload your own PDFs. So if you want to reference your own sources, you can do that. And below this, you'll see that there's a prompt helper. You can click here to select a tool. And this is especially useful if you want a more focused approach. So if, for example, you wanted to suggest research questions for you, or if you wanted to identify gaps in the literature. Okay, so we're going to start off with auto mode to answer a specific research question, which is going to be what are the most effective leadership practices for managing hybrid teams? And I'm also going to open up the filters. I'm going to ask for a minimum of five citations. I'm also going to make sure that it's bringing information that's not too old. So I'm going to select publications from the 1st of January 2020. And I'm going to submit my search. And you'll see that it's analyzing the question by scanning its database of peer-reviewed research and verified publications. And you can see how quick that was. Brings back the quick response to my research question over here. And on the side, I have a full list of the sources that it has used. So I'm just going to make this big so we can look at the output, we get this focused answer highlighting the main leadership approaches found in effective hybrid environments. And it tells us the several key principles identified across the recent research and literature. And you can see that the response is broken down into specific categories. So for example, I've got the transformation leadership and adaptive styles here, and I've got the numbered citations here, and it moves on to proactive and frequent communication, building teams, each point is backed by citations. And if we scroll down, we can see the full list of sources that you use to generate the answer from the journal articles. And again, we can see all the sources that it's used here on the side, and I can click on any of the sources and it will take me to the exact source that it used for its response. I can also choose to chat with the source or save it to my library. So if you're exploring a specific topic and want a reliable, quick summary without diving into 20 different papers, this is the fastest way to do it. And it's designed to give you that clear, concise answer that is pulled from a number of verified academic sources. Now let's switch to literature review mode to take a deeper dive into a broader research topic. And this time I'm going to type in remote work and employee productivity. And this time I want a full structured literature review, not just a quick answer. And before I run the search, I'm going to open up more filters. And this just gives you a lot of control over what kind of sources you want. So I'm going to set the minimum citations again to five just to filter out low impact papers. Okay. And for journal quality, I'm going to limit it to Q1 and Q2 publications. So we're just pulling from high quality sources. In terms of the publication date, again, I want it from 2020 as a start date. And again, I just want to filter out really old papers. And once I've selected all my filters, I'm going to submit my search. Okay, so now it's come back with the result. And this time it took a little bit longer than the first one, but you'll see that the result is structured like a full academic review paper. So if we open this up, it starts with the introduction, remote work and employee productivity, a comprehensive analysis of current research. We've got the introduction here, then it breaks the topic down into themes like positive productivity outcomes, sector specific productivity variations, the challenges and the negative productivity impacts. We've got the well-being and job satisfaction effects and the key moderating factors such as autonomy and control, technology and infrastructure. Look how extensive this report is. We've even got the methodological insights and research approaches that have been used, future implications and recommendations. And at the bottom here, we've got a short conclusion that summarizes the key insights across the reviewed studies. 
And you can see all of the citations that have been used in this literature review are again listed here at the bottom. And you can see it's drawn from a large number of citations in this specific paper. We've got 18 different citations that it's used in this literature review. And as you can see, they're all quite recent papers. What's really nice here as well is that you can change the citation styles. So I'm going to change this from Chicago to Harvard citations. And you'll see at the bottom here, I've got a number of export options as well. So I can export it as a PDF, as a Word document, as a markdown file. And this just makes it easy for me to extract the information. And if we look at the actual response, you'll find that the quality of the output is actually really quite high. And what I really like about Answer This that you won't get with a lot of other research tools is that it's really good at giving you counter arguments as well and opposing viewpoints. So for example, here it's come back with remote work also presents significant well-being challenges that organizations must address. And while telecommuting offers flexibility and reduces commuting stress, it also presents challenges related to social isolation, blurred boundaries between work and personal life and technology related frustrations. And this helps you to start to look at all the arguments that have been presented in a specific topic. So a very comprehensive output. And again, on the right hand side, we've got the list of all 18 sources and we can choose to select any one of them and save them in our database. Okay, so I'm going to select one of the sources and I'm going to add this to my library. And you can see that it says successfully added one paper to your library. Okay, and if I come over here and click on my library, so you can see the specific papers you've chosen, they're all stored here and you can open them at any time and export the content or build on previous work. And this just makes it easy to organize your search and keep track of the sources, especially if you're working on more than one project at a time. Okay, so now let's take a look at one of my favorite tools and answer this, which is the citation map. And here you can search for a paper by title or enter its DOI. I'm going to start off by adding title of one of my papers, which is a dual pathway model remote work intensity. And then I'm going to start searching for that. And then you'll see that then it gives me an option to set this as the origin. So I'm going to do that. And then you'll see that it will bring me the whole citation map here. And you'll see that my paper here, Dual Pathway Model, this one by Gajendran, this is the main paper in the network. You'll see that it's cited by a number of papers showing the blue arrows. And then there's a large number of papers that have indirect references there as well. And if we click on one of these papers and then see the connection between the Cohen paper and the Gajendran paper. And what this does is just gives me a very quick overview in terms of the different citations between the papers it shows me how they're connected. It also gives me the opportunity to very quickly explore the different papers in the network and also to consider other indirect papers that I might not have thought of researching in order to further look into and add to my library. So now let's take a quick look at some of their mini tools. So if I select tools, I'll see a number of featured tools here and some trending tools as well. So these are focused, powerful tools designed to help with very specific research tasks like writing an essay or finding a research gap or paraphrasing your work or humanizing it as well. Okay, so let's try the research gap find. I'm going to click on that. And this is really one of the most useful tools for anyone working on a thesis or trying to define an original research question. And I'm going to start off by typing here, what are the research gaps in innovation capability among remote teams? And I'm going to enter that. And again, you'll see now it's analyzing the gap. Okay, so it's come back here with the research gaps in innovation capability among remote teams. So it tells me here, this has become a vital research area, especially accelerated by COVID-19 and the ongoing digital transformation of workplaces. And then here it comes back with a number of options that I can look into. For example, here, the limitations in social network dynamics and remote teams or technology adoption and its impact and innovation capability. Or I can look into knowledge management, absorptive capacity in remote teams, it comes back with the subtopics, and then it tells me where the gap actually is. So it says research is needed on which knowledge management practices are most effective in remote versus co-located teams. So I can then look into these different areas and based on my interests, I can very quickly see where the gaps are and then I can choose one of these areas in order to research further. So I think this is really useful that for each gap, it provides this research direction that helps you start to build your thoughts around which area you'd be interested in pursuing further. And so if you're stuck at the proposal stage or need to justify the relevance of your study, this is a very useful tool to have. It will just give you these entry points that are based on the actual trends in the literature. Okay. So one of the other really powerful features and one that I find extremely useful in answer this is the ability to upload your own PDFs and then chat with them directly. So if you come over here to upload and you can drag and drop your own files and you can choose a file. So I'm just going to add one of my files here. And then once I've added that, I'm just going to ask it here, what are the key findings in this paper? And then I'm going to enter that. Okay. So you can see that it's quickly analyzed the paper and it's come back with the key findings from the paper. And you can see it has
how it's easily organized, the main findings. And then what I can also do is then I can chat with the actual paper and you'll see that it will start to load the entire PDF. Then I can add my questions here and I can start asking about all the different parts of this research paper. So this is a really useful part if you want to go in depth on one specific paper. So as we've seen, Answer This can help with every major part of the research process from the literature reviews, from answering specific questions, from visualizing how studies are connected through citation maps and so much more. So if you're working on a thesis, a research paper or a proposal, this tool can save you hours and help you work smarter. So I've added a link in the description where you can try this yourself. And there's also a discount code if you'd like to try the pro version of this tool. So I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you in the next video.